With more than 100 miles of coastline and a wide array of surrounding waterways that range from sounds to salt marshes, the Outer Banks is home to one of the largest fishing industries in the entire country. Critical sectors of the Outer Banks economy rely on access through these channels that serve as a highway for our watermen. Commercial and sport fishing, as well as its supporting industries, which include boat building, seafood packing and processing, and tournament fishing, are all integral to the Outer Banks economy, providing thousands of jobs and contributing hundreds of millions of dollars to Dare County each year. Because the livelihoods of so many people who live and work along the Outer Banks are reliant upon these waterways, it's crucial that they are properly dredged to eliminate the shoaling that takes place under the surface. One of our challenges at Oregon Inlet is to deal with all shoaling issues that we have. There's about 1.2 million cubic yards of sand that move across the inlet every year, and removal of it is paramount. This really affects our recreational fishing and especially our commercial fishing business. We virtually have lost just about all of our commercial fishing fleet because of the shoaling issues. Shoaling's good and bad all year long. When we have a dredge here, typically it's maintained at a pretty good pace, but as soon as the dredges leave, we have real issues with it filling back in real quick. Without proper dredging, commercial fishing boats and recreational vessels both run the risk of running aground in the shallow water. And as a result, many Outer Banks fishermen end up taking their catch to neighboring states, whose waterways are more accessible. As commercial fishermen start to take their catch to landings elsewhere, supporting industries such as seafood packing and processing tend to follow. And the impact on the local economy can be devastating and often leads to a negative impact on future quotas. To ensure that vessels are able to safely navigate the channels and inlets that exist in Dare County, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has the responsibility of dredging the federally authorized channels. But a lack of time and resources has significantly held up many dredging projects and allowed shoaling to take over and shifting sandbars to seal off some of these waterways to the boats that require deeper water to make it through. Recognizing the importance of open waterways and the critical role they play in the local economy, Dare County officials decided to take a proactive approach to the region's shoaling problems and begin the search for a long-term solution. We went up to the state and we talked to Senator Bill Cook, who's retired now, and we requested some meetings with some of the other senators and representatives, and we took them, uh, Moffitt and Nichols had done an economic impact study for us. We showed them the value of an open inlet, which is about $500 million a year, plus or minus, depending on the year. With a fully opened inlet, it could be up to a billion dollars a year. So we showed them that it was a good idea and we sold them on the idea of having a public-private partnership with a dredge and we got a 15 million forgivable loan grant from the state that Dare County administers and well, we entered into a private relationship with EJE Dredging out of Greenville and they are the ones that are actually in construction of the dredge. The legislation that was required to establish the private partnership to build the new vessel was passed by the North Carolina General Assembly in 2017. This legislation set forth that Dare County's Oregon Inlet Task Force would oversee dredged construction and eventually its operation. A considerable amount of time went into developing the specifications and bidding for the dredge project. And in 2019, the Dare County Board of Commissioners unanimously approved the contract for construction of the dredge, which will be named the Miss Katy. So who will benefit from this dredge? Well, I think all the recreational fleet, but I think the most will be the commercial fleet. As I said earlier, the commercial fleet, there used to be over 200 trawlers in Wanchies. There's just a handful now, and the reason is there's not enough water going out the inlet. We've got commercial vessels right off our coast, shrimping. They can't bring their catch in here because the water's not deep enough. So they're taking it up to Norfolk, or they're taking it down south, and it, it really hurts North Carolina. The dredge, which is currently under construction in Louisiana, will improve efficiency by maximizing time and productivity to more adequately perform and manage dredging operations throughout Dare County. While it is not intended to replace the Army Corps of Engineers' routine dredging operations, having access to this dredge will dramatically increase the capacity of area dredging and help ensure that Dare County's waterways stay open. 
Well, having access to this dredge and having a dredge here full time is going to be huge because we're going to be able to be there right after a storm, hit all the hot spots going in and out of the channel, and just constant maintenance, which it's never had. Once it's complete and arrives in Dare County in April 2022, the dredge will be able to operate up to 12 hours a day, weather permitting, providing strategic dredging in area waterways. As previously mentioned, those dredging operations will be managed by the Oregon Inlet Task Force, whose members will plan, schedule, and monitor the success of local dredging projects. The Oregon Inlet Task Force is the overseer of all of it. By state law, the state put the task force in charge of the project. Uh, we will schedule when and where the dredge goes. And really it's a North Carolina dredge, but it'll be between Oregon Inlet and Hatteras to begin with until that loan's paid back. But if there's someplace else that needs it, you know, we can schedule for it. The public-private partnership dredge project marks a massive step forward in Dare County's ongoing mission to keep these vital waterways open for commercial and recreational vessels, an effort that will have a profound and positive impact on the area's economy, local workforce, and the livelihoods of everyone living on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm just really excited about getting a new dredge here. It's a project that uh, has never been done anywhere else in the United States. There's a lot of other municipalities. Virginia Beach is real interested in how we've done this. And I've been told there's there's harbors both on the west coast and the east coast that are watching to see how successful this is. And if it is, I venture to say there'll probably be more private dredges doing this.